Every day we interact with countless different people. Some seem a lot like we do, and others have different ways of seeing the world. There is an old saying that to really understand a person, you must walk a mile in their shoes. This effort to understand each other helps us to work together and be a stronger community. One of the students in this kindergarten class is legally blind. We took some time to get to know her, and she ended up teaching us far more than we could have imagined. We explored some of the tools that she uses to interact with her world every day, and work together to see the world from her point of view. As we spent time with Nevea, we quickly learned that she doesn't need pity or babying from us, but there are ways that we can help ensure she is a fully involved member of our community. We even discovered some ways that we can be supportive community members to other visually impaired individuals. We met with some amazing teachers who work with visually impaired students to get an idea of ways that they assist students in a regular school day. First, we met Mr. Mark. My name is Mr. Mark. This is Miss Carla. We both work with visually impaired and blind students. Okay, y'all have a visually impaired young lady here at the school. How many of y'all know Miss Nevaeh? All y'all seen her? We're walking, with her, walking with her cane, hopefully. I teach what they call orientation and mobility. Orientation means knowing where you're at in your environment, right, in relationship to where you want to go. And then we figure out the path to get there, right? Mobility is easy. Mobility is just being mobile. So I just teach her how to get from where she is to where she's going safely, okay, efficiently, maybe the quickest route, okay, but safety is the most important. Mr. Mark explained the use of a cane as a mobility tool. It allows users to be aware of obstacles in their path as well as changes in the surfaces they are walking on. We got the chance to use a cane while blindfolded. And I'll be honest, even on a sidewalk that I walk along every day, it was still a little scary without my sight to guide me. We quickly understood the importance of sweeping with the cane from side to side as well as listening to the sound that tip makes when it taps on different surfaces. Mr. Mark talked with us about how students learn their way around school and create a map in their head of the different places they go so that they can be oriented. This helps a lot as students learn to move around campus independently. We also learned about the use of a sighted guide. This is the first way that we could offer help to someone with a visual impairment. We have something called sighted guide. This is what happens when you want to walk with a visually impaired or blind student or person or friend, okay? It's just called sighted guide. As I'm the sighted person, okay, I believe I could be an adult, could be a teacher, could be a parent, could be a friend, okay? So it could be some of his, his eyes, could be one of y'all, okay? <laughs> and what happens is he's going to hold right around my elbow, just above the elbow, okay, by my arm, and we're going to walk around together. So he feels safer walking with me. Okay, because he knows I am the sighted guy. I'm the leader, right? Now, I do have to take in to the thought process here when I'm walking, that I know I'm not going to walk into a hole. But I also need to remember there could be a hole right here. I'm responsible for Grayson right now. We don't play games. If is walking and you're doing sighted guide with her, okay, it's not funny to kind of walk her off and make her fall off the edge of the sidewalk. And I'm going to move my arm slightly behind me. And we're going to go around the chair. Okay. And by slowing down, he realized something's a little different. Okay. By moving my arm, he's just going to follow my arm behind me. Okay. And then when we're back here, oh, he's right back to me. Next, we met Miss Carla. She works with Nevea every day, teaming up with Nevea's classroom teacher as she learns her letters, sight words, and math skills. This takes on a whole new perspective when you consider how much of the process of learning to read is presented visually. Fun stuff. So I'm gonna pass this around, but I wanna give you an idea. So you cup your fingers, you keep them together, and you slide, and you'll feel the different ridges. So it's just teaching her how to track. It's called tracking. So I want y'all to practice tracking, which means you're gonna tickle. Remember we talked about tricking the barrel? Don't press hard, it's very light. It kind of gives you the goosebumps, and that's how you track these pages. Then we got to meet Nevaeh. She came to visit our classroom and met each of us individually so that she could learn our names and start remembering us by our voices. So we have to come and say hello. And what grade are you in? I'm in kindergarten. Kindergarten. 
Yes. And what do you have in your hand that helps you travel? My cane. Your cane. And what is your cane used for? To see what's around you. To see what's around you and to keep you what? Safe. Safe. Yes. Very good. So this morning, Mr. Mark came and visited our class. Ooh. And all of my fifth graders got to try out using the cane yeah. to go down the sidewalk and to see what it was like. Yeah. And they felt a little bit anxious doing it because they had never done it before, so they felt a little bit nervous. And you know who else did it? Mrs. Sloan, the principal, used a cane too. Oh, she's <laughs> she was very busy this morning, but she thought it was important that she sees what that was like, so she did it too. What do you think of that? I think that's a silly thing. Why do you think that's silly? It's because she, she's not supposed to use a cane and she's a big lady. Miss Carla gave us an introduction to Braille, the printed system of raised dots that represents letters, numbers, and words. It's amazing that the entire Braille system is made up of just six dots. We worked through some pre-Braille exercises that Nevaeh worked through before she learned Braille. Very quickly we realized that they were not easy. Nevaeh came for another lesson to show off her skills with the Brailler. She typed sight words and sentences for us. All right. One of the best ways to make sure that someone feels like an important member of the school community is to communicate with them in a way that understands their needs. For Valentine's Day, Nevaeh made a Valentine for each classmate that included Braille writing. Since I hadn't learned Braille yet, I made one for her that had lots of shapes and textures she could feel and colors she could see. I have something for you. Whoa! Tell her what you have, what you made her. I made her a Valentine. Thank you, Grayson. You're welcome. Okay, put it flat on the nice. table. And let's feel it. So nice of you, Graceland. What is that? Ooh, it's pom poms. Yeah, you feel the pom poms? Wow. Are they soft or hard? Soft. Yeah, you gotta be very gentle. As we spent time getting to know Nevea, we came up with a great idea. It's called Braille Buddies. Nevea writes us a Braille message, and we write her back with our very own Brailler. It gives her something exciting and personal to work on her reading skills with, and it definitely gives us something exciting too. Learning a new way to communicate and letting this young lady into our learning community. We got our first brown message from Nevaeh today. Let's see what happens when we wrote back. Hello. Good. <laughs> and then the next two words you, you brailed for us were... D this is the D. One. Four, five. And all right, Gabe. G, 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 one, two, five. One, two, four, five. Okay. B. There's a B. B. It's in, it's one and two. To pull everything together, we talked with Mr. Mark and Miss Carla about how we could make sure we are supportive of students and adults who are visually impaired. Offering help as a sighted guide is one way we can offer assistance. Making sure we respect the needs and feelings of every student is important too. We also learned about an important traffic law that requires cars to yield the right of way to pedestrians using a cane or guide dog, always. Our time looking at the world through somebody else's perspective was time well spent. We all learned a lot, and we're a better school community because of it.